though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Singing hymns of homage, chanting his praises, come before his presence, praise the Almighty, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Faith was her shield, holy will of God, her guiding light. She lived through the challenges of her times. The Carmelite sisters of St. Teresa's carried the flame that she once lit with faith and courage. We have just seen a few glimpses from a bio docu telefilm we are making on Mother Teresa of St. Rose of Lima. The telefilm is designed as two parts. The first part portrays her as an ardent, dedicated educationalist and focuses on her spiritual mindscape. The second part reveals a revolutionary social reformer that she was and that too juxtaposed with the social fiber during those days in Kerala where the caste system was prevailing at its worst. She was a woman of prayers, but she never prayed for herself. She prayed for others. Praying for others, trying to solve their problems, trying to wipe tears from their eyes was prayer for her. She was reading her holy script from the faces of those who were suffering, the aged, the sick, and those who were denied the basic amenities of a respectable human life. Mother Teresa of St. Rose of Lima had a lot of dreams. And as we look back from 2015 to the last phase of the 19th century, we realize that her life was her message. <laughs> 